Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. Do you like comments in your code? Most of the time, I hate them. And that's because 99% of the time, comments that I find in code are totally useless and often just flat out wrong. You see a lot of articles about this. I've even done some videos of just about how much I hate comments in code. But yesterday, I came across an article and uh, kind of changed my mind a little bit. The article was about something I had never really heard of before called README-driven development. And I wanted to kind of dive in and give it a try. So the concept here was that you write a README before you write your code so that you have a plan for the systems and different uh, components that you're going to have in this game or project or whatever it is. And since I didn't have a whole project to do it on and I don't have something brand new that I'm just about to start, I decided instead to apply it to something that I had recently done. So I took a bigger game system for a much larger game that I'd written recently. It's just an ability system for like casting spells, doing uh, melee attacks, that kind of stuff, shooting bows and arrows. And I decided to write a readme for that. Since it was code that's going to be read by new developers as you know more people join the team and existing developers as they start to integrate into this system, I figured worst case scenario, I've written a readme doc that will help them kind of get used to the system and know how to use it. So I got to work on it and I immediately started noticing some issues, not with the system, but with my code. So I found things that didn't really make a lot of sense when I went to describe them. I found methods that I thought, ah, these could probably go away. And I found some good areas for separation. And it all came from just that idea of writing down how the thing works and you know what it's made of and how you're supposed to use it. Putting that all down kind of in words really made the bad parts or the, the things that I didn't really like that much stand out. And it gave me the opportunity to just dive in there and refactor them. In fact, what I did, just kind of following that readme-driven development, is I wrote out, well, first I wrote out what they were doing, and then I changed it to write out how I felt like they should work, like how I felt like if I was explaining the system, what would be ideal? And then I just refactored it to match that ideal. And it made a big difference. The code definitely looks a lot easier to understand. It's a lot cleaner. And I think that now new developers coming in, they'll be able to just open up the folder where the system is. And they don't have to go through these hundreds of files and look at all of the code. They can just look at this readme file and know exactly how to use the system, how it all works, and how things are kind of tied together. So I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a pretty cool and a pretty interesting way to code. I want to give it a try in the real form where I write the doc first next time. So I'm looking at some new systems that I'll be building and I think I'm going to just write up that doc, you know, put it all down in words and then build it to that specification. And then, you know, like I said, it's not a real specification. It's more of a guide for me and for the other developers. So stuff may change completely and I'll be okay with that because it's just a little readme doc. Anyway, I thought this was pretty interesting. Just kind of a new concept on it and it brought in a, I guess, a way to add comments to a code that doesn't feel like dirty, sloppy crap. It feels nice, it feels clean, and it really makes sense. It's not bloating all of my code files with useless information that nobody cares about. It's really just focused on how do you use this thing? How does it work? You know, let me go from there. But I am curious to know what you guys think. So if you've used this system before and had some success or it totally failed, let me know below. Also, if you have some thoughts on comments, feel free to drop those below as well. We may or may not agree. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, hit the subscribe button and all that stuff and have a great day.